10 holes. Once, in a little village not that far from here, there was a problem. Animals had started dying off one by one. In the morning, their owners would see them lying outside with 10 holes in their chest. The people thought it was the work of their neighboring town. But then one night, a man by the name of Fred was closing his store for the night. It was very late, and he was anxious to get home to his family. He shut off all the lights, then closed the door with a satisfying click. As he turned around to go to his car, he saw a dark shape in the distance. He stood still, trying to make out what it was. As it got closer, Fred turned to go. It was the last move he ever made. The next day, they found him with ten holes in his chest. This made the town quite worried. They were scared of more people getting killed. So one night, two brave brothers, John and Jacob, went out to get rid of the problem. They each took knives and walkie-talkies. They said goodbye to their father and kissed their grandmother on the way out. The two boys decided to split up. One would go by the site of the murder and the other would wander the streets. If one was attacked, they could use their walkie-talkie to contact the other. So they set off, keeping a close eye on the shadows. Nothing seemed to be happening. It was a calm night, and it did. It seemed like they would get home safely. But then, suddenly, John heard a cracking in the bushes behind him. He tried to call his brother, but it was too late. The figure leapt out of the bushes and tackled him, gouging its, his chest with its nails. Luckily, Jacob heard the commotion and rushed to help him. He leapt through the air and cut off the creature's right hand. The creature screamed and ran. Jacob took John to the hospital, and they bandaged him and took him home. The doctors called them heroes, and finally they got home at six that morning. Only their grandmother was up, so they said good morning, and then went back to bed. Neither of them noticed that she was missing her hand. <laughs>